precisa Hello everybody! On this video we are going to explore the powers of Vanilla.js um, The plan of this video is to start a series of why Vanilla.js is awesome and also uh, to showcase a little bit of the things that you can do with Vanilla.js and these are like gonna be the most common things So we're going to, for example in this video we're going to make a modal like a pop-up a nice pop-up on vanilla javascript you're going to see how you can do that and maybe on later videos if you guys like this content we can do something like a, i don't know like a clickable menu that you click and it shows up a menu or we can do only with vanilla javascript that is the rule vanilla javascript only so let's start uh we're going to create whatever happens here and let's first of all let's create uh some button i don't know could be whatever and we can say this button will say open model. All right, and uh, let's add some styles. Maybe here, we're gonna say style. And let's just use a uh, button or on set and let this do background color, some sexy background color, steel blue. I don't know, color would be white. Let's look at it. All right, yeah, good enough. Adding five pixels and 20. Turn and border radius by pixels as well. Turn. All right, sexy. And now we need to put a cursor pointer. Every time I go, I see sweet. All right, also when I click, nothing happens. This is okay. And let's change the body um, style, font style, font family. Let's use let's use this one that I always use. Oh shit, this one. All right, looks better now. Okay. So the goal of this, like I said, is to make a model to be able to open a model. All right. So when I click on this thing, I want to open it. And when I click outside, I want to close it. So let's do model. Okay. And here, let's make a model overlay. So this one will be the uh, background of the model, like this black screen or like tra almost um, transparent screen. Not screen, but diff like black that shows that makes all the website look dark except for the model. This one will be it, all right? And let's make the model here. So actually, let's make a diff called model content, and let's say this has a h1 and that says I don't know whatever. I am a model. And let's not forget. Let's just make a button here, just real quick. And this one will have a x of close. Let's look at it. There it is. I am a model, and there you go. The x of closing. Okay, good stuff. Now I'm going to style the model. So let's come. Let's style the model. Model. Ah, all right. And I have a. Material design code pen that I always use for my shadows. Besides, like I always use it because the shadows are very like I always use the shadows. So, so what I want is the shadow number three. All right, this one just copy paste it. Bravo. Let's do this. There we go. Look at the model there. Right. Awesome. Cool. Huh? Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to make the model overlay to be 100 percent of the screen and the model also as well. So let's say model and model. Let's do position absolute. No absolute. We need absolute and we want to say top zero left zero width. 100% of the body, height, 100% of the body. Okay, so now it's absolute, awesome. And now let's do model overlay, and let's say background color, RGBA, and let's make a uh, black 60% opacity, and doesn't have anything, because we need to do the same thing we did here. Adam, all right, not bad. And now here, this is bye-bye. Okay, almost there, almost there. All right, so this will be position absolute, model overlay. You know what, let's not make it absolute, let's make it fixed. It's better, because if I scroll, it's gonna stay there, cool. And now the model content, it also has to be, this one has to be a position fixed, also let's do it fixed. And let's do top. Zero pixels. There we go. And if I scroll, it should stay there with me. Model content. All right. Let's move the shadow of model down. Ba -bam. And now this bad boy has a shadow. Let's give it a background color. Okay. Let's make it pretty. 50 pixels, 100 pixels. Dun. All right. Text align. Center it. Taran. Okay. What else? Um, the H1 has a margin of padding. So let's delete that. Margin, sorry. Okay. Better yet. All right. And let's give a border radius to this bad boy. Border radius. Five pixels. More than five pixels, let's give it 10 pixels. Done. Now let's make this bad boy position absolute. All right, shouldn't change anything. And now I want to see what happens if I change position fixed here. Oops, stays there. Okay, so I say position relative. There we go. Awesome. And I'm going to give this bad boy 50% uh, width. Too much. 30%. Fuck that. 20. Fuck that. 10. All right. And now let's try to center this bad boy display. Let's do flex. Justify content center. Align items. Center and there we go. So now we have our model. Now the problem is we need to show it and close it, correct? Okay, so we need to open and close it. This means that maybe what we can do is just make a class here called hidden. All right, and here we're gonna say hidden and we're gonna say display none. Boop, there you go. So the model is bye bye because of display none. Now, how do we show it? Very, very simple. Let's open a script tag here and let's get oh uh, shit, let's get the button. So let's say open button equals and let's get the open button. This one, let's add an ID to this bad boy open. And we say document that get element by id 
and the ID is going to be open. All right, and we're going to say open button, add event listener. When somebody clicks on it, execute the function, and let's make a function here real quick. On click, sorry, click. When somebody clicks it, let's make a function click um, open pop up, open model. Okay. Now we need to select the model from JavaScript as well. So we need to select it. Let's do here and let's make one more. And this one we're going to say query selector. They're different. There we go, model. And now all we're going to do here is we're going to say model dot class list dot add, no, dot remove here. Sweet. Let's see. I refresh and when I click, you can, it's working. Now the ideal thing would be that when I click, it opens. And when I click this bad boy or when I click the background, it closes. So let's select them. Model overlay. So we're going to say now const overlay. Model, query selector, model overlay, and also uh, close button. Close button equals model, query selector, button. Sweet. Let's make one function called close model. And let's just say model, class list, add hidden. All right. And what we have to do now is say overlay and close button right here. Add event listener. When somebody clicks on both of them, we're going to call the function close model. Let's see. Okay, so I click open model and I open the model. And when I click close here, it closes. When I click here again, it opens. And when I click outside, it closes. So working. Now, if you want it to be awesome, you can make this example even better by adding some transitions and some animations to the model so it doesn't just show up like this. Ah. But something that actually just makes it look like, like a fade, some nice cool stuff. We ran out of time for this video. But it's a pretty good working example. And as you can see, it doesn't take long. We, I think we, we took more time into making the CSS than the actual JavaScript. But then again, this is how it is. JavaScript is actually very, very simple. And you actually don't need so much stuff. If you are interested in learning more about vanilla JavaScript, we have a free vanilla JavaScript course where you're going to build a clock, a to-do list, some weather application that was going to teach you everything. If you, for example, don't understand what const means or add event listener means, then you should go and check out the course. Also, if you already know a little bit of vanilla JavaScript and you want to become a pro, we have a JavaScript full stack from zero to hero where we are going to clone YouTube only with vanilla JavaScript and with Node.js on the back end. So please go check that out. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know what other challenges you have for me in and vanilla JavaScript. Again, if you see something made on a website and if you want me to do it, then just let me know. Uh, that's it. First video of the vanilla JS series. Hope you like it. Thank you. Eat kimchi. Take shower. Stay awesome. And bye-bye.